Hi, I am Donna Bradley and I am the choir director at Call Me Christian. I have the great pleasure of leading the students that you're going to see on this video today um, and many others. We had about 20 students from our uh, junior and senior high choir who were willing to um, kind of take on this project and, and try it and, and just see how it turned out um, by singing uh, the song that um, I had them work on. And um, some of them were willing to talk about how COVID-19 has affected them or uh, music or how our choir, um, what our choir means to them. So you're gonna see a little bit of that um, in this video. I hope that this will be um, a, an encouragement to you um, that you enjoy seeing what the students uh, worked on and put together. Having to leave school and um, go to online learning, that was really weird. It was really um, difficult, I think. I think it's probably more difficult for um, music groups than just about anybody. Sports and music, um, just we meet, we meet, we work, we practice, um, and not being there together every day. Um, not only was it difficult to learn something, to learn a song um, and be able to, to prepare it for anything, but for me as a teacher, I thrive off of the daily interaction with my students. So I miss them so much. I um, would send them group messages and say, you know, I miss the fact that um, someone can't find their music. <laughs> I miss the fact that um, so-and-so came in today and said, are we singing today? You know, I miss those things. Um, I miss the good morning, Miss Bradley. How are you today? Uh, the hugs, the laughs. Um, because those are all things that um, are very much a part of our daily um, routine at Calling Christian uh, Inquire and Band. Um, so it's been very, um, it's been very hard for me um, as a teacher to be away from my students. I've gotten to see a lot of them now that um, the guidelines are a little bit more relaxed. Um, and before that, we were um, doing Zoom meetings, so um, it was so great to be able to see their faces and just, just to talk to them about what they were doing and, and how everything was going. Although we could not meet face to face uh, and we were a little bit limited in um, the things that we could do, we were also a little bit limited in um, the, the amount of things that um, I could have them work on. Um, they did not stop working. We, uh, I kind of decided to take advantage of the opportunity to um, work a little bit on musicianship that we might not be um, hitting a lot on in class because we were working for several performances. We had about seven performances coming up between March and the end of the year. And um, that obviously didn't happen, but um, the kids have worked on music theory exercises and, and learning about um, those things. They have, um, they did about 16 sight singing exercises and they turned all those in. And so I feel like um, we didn't stop learning. We, um, can, we just learned differently. The video that you're gonna see at the end, or the song that you're gonna see at the end, um, about 20 of our uh, junior and senior high choir members um, were willing to uh, learn this song and send a video of themselves. And then um, we're very grateful to um, Blake at Fret Monkey for putting this together for us. Uh, this was definitely a first for me and first for our students. Um, it's not perfect, but I think it's going to be really great. I think that you're going to enjoy it. The song, um, I just heard this song kind of at the beginning of, of um, quarantine, I guess, and I loved it. I couldn't get it out of my mind. Um, I think one of the main reasons I love it is obviously taken straight from scriptures, straight from numbers. Um, the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face to shine upon you. Um, the Lord lift his countenance upon you. Um, my favorite part 
of the song is just where it talks about how he is for us, he is with us in the morning, in the evening, in your coming, in your going, in your weeping, your rejoicing, he's for you. And I thought, you know, this song has been special to me, but what a great message to have my students um, really listen to, learn, just really put in their hearts and keep on their minds. So that was kind of why um, I chose this song for them to learn. I hope that this song and this video will bless you. The thing I love most about choir is where to start with this question for me. The thing I love most about it has to be like the humanness of choir. I mean, what what is more what is a more unique human experience than getting together with a group of 50 people and working on something to display emotion, to make other people feel something, to make beauty, to make art. What is what is more human and more and better than that? This this choir has changed my life truly and honestly um through the years i've made lifelong bonds that oh they're lifelong and uh it has given me leadership opportunities that i absolutely love it has connected with it has connected me with many people that i absolutely love you know love to death and that's all due to the fact that we got together in a group and tried to make something beautiful. What's, what's better than that? How could you get better than that? This, uh, this high school choir is... Um, it's definitely changed me for better. So the thing I love most about choir is the people and the environment. Everyone's, most of the time everyone's happy and enjoying themselves and that helps me to be happy. Like if, in a, if I'm in a bad mood, everyone being happy can just like put me in a good mood like immediately. Um, for the pre-show for the Dixie Stampede, I thought that was so cool. It was like the coolest experience I've ever had. And I really enjoyed it. And then my favorite choir memory is when I went on the Branson trip in eighth grade, I think. I made, I made a, that was just a great time and it was really fun and I had a blast with people and I made some lifelong friends there. Just got closer to them. And uh, yeah, it was great. And the same goes with any trip, just whether that's a luncheon or just a concert or whatever. And just hanging out with, and once I got into fifth grade choir, it was something that I decided I was gonna do for the rest of my life. I love choir and also, especially in a high school choir, it's through seventh through 12th grade. So you get to be with all of those people and you make really good friendships and new relationships with people that you never thought you would. And that's something that I'm gonna miss a lot, especially my senior year. Senior year, um, I did. At, well, we did have a choir for a while, but all the major stuff was about to happen, like our Disney dinner dessert, um, our uh, big Branson trip. That was really fun, and of course, spring concert and then singing at graduation. Um, all of those were really fun. Those are especially where you make your um, friends because you get put in a room with everyone at Branson and then you go and have friends off with it. That is something that I'm gonna miss a lot. But I'm also gonna miss, of course, Miss Bradley because she's practically a second mom to me at the school. Um, I've known her for a very long time because she's been my choir teacher forever, but since I've gotten older and I'm still in choir, I feel like I've gotten a lot closer to her and I've made a new friendship with her that I'll never forget. Um, I love her so much and I'm so happy that I chose to stay in choir.
The thing I think I love most about CCS Choir is the way that we can all work together 7th through 12th and really get to know the younger students as older kids. And the younger kids can really look up to the older students when we work together. I think it's great to have the opportunity to come together and worship and sing music. Um, my favorite memory about choir is coming back from our St. Louis trip last year on the charter bus and getting to sing karaoke with the whole bus. It was such a blast and I honestly, I don't think I'll ever forget that memory. My favorite thing about choir is that you're basically just taking a bunch of kids who love music, love to sing, putting them in a room together and letting them create music. Also creating friendships that may not have happened outside of the choir room. Um, to me, it's basically like being on a sports team or being in a cast in a musical, you're all coming together to create something you love or to do something you love, and that's amazing. The thing I love most about choir is the opportunity to make many friends. Over the years, I've gotten to become close and friends with people in different grades that I probably wouldn't have become friends with if I wasn't a part of choir. Um, it's been fun getting to sing with them during performances and all the trips that we go on and it's brought us closer and I'm so happy that I've gotten the opportunity to become close with these people. The thing I love most about choir is that you get to meet new people and create new bonds with them and I like music because it gives you a feeling that you might or that it helps you through tough times. Music helps me in a way that I think it's different from a lot of other people, but um, it's helped me through this because whenever I listen to it, it just chills me out and keeps me thinking that everything is gonna be okay. One of the things I really love about choir is all of the super unique experiences it's given me. I've gotten to travel, and I've gotten to go to conferences and meet people who have similar interests as me and that are from all over the place. And it's just a really interesting time to get to know other people. What I love most about music is that I can, I can always go in and sing for the Lord. And I've, I've always fell in love with music ever since the first grade and I still love it today. Well, since COVID has started, every Sunday we will go watch the live recording from our church and we will always you know sing alone and every time we do i feel like that god is still with us through this hard time and we can and he reminds us that we can all get through this COVID 19 and all of the shutdowns and everything music has really helped me to have peace and that the lord is with us and he has a plan and no matter what happens he's in control and music has really reminded me of that, especially in this season, and I'm very thankful for that. Lord.
upon you and thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children. Please favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children. Please favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and their children and their children. Children and their children and their children. 